Well, alrighty then, hello there. So pretty surprisingly, or actually not surprisingly, because we already knew that for some reason they are already bringing back uh, a dark ranking event yet again, even though we just had it. Uh, we started the anniversary with uh, dark element characters. We, we are getting even more right here. So uh, wind element is getting forgotten about. Uh, fire element as well, water element. <laughs> so uh, yeah, pretty interesting. So we are getting a kimono Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, so his art and everything looks very interesting um, in my opinion. Uh, he's not a limited unit, so for me, uh, he's already a skip. Even though I don't even have uh, many cubes to spend on him, uh, because the limited uh, Alice and it is they just took all my cubes. Uh, so, yeah, um, he's... Um, so I only checked out his uh, stats today morning when uh, we got the news about him. And I saw this high uh, magic attack stat, so we are gonna be getting more magic attack dark element characters. I don't even wanna guess when the last time was when we got magic uh, attacker uh, dark element characters. Uh, but his speed and my magic attack look pretty high and he has an enhanced skill which I I'm I have high hopes for so he charges magic attacks from a single enemy incarnate charge increases by 30% when your collection field gauges three or more now I'm not a hundred percent sure on this but is he gonna charge up to a, a uh, from zero to a hundred with a with a charge yeah if you have uh, three or more collection field bars it, is he gonna do that? I think he will. If he will do that, th that's actually very good. That's very good for him. Um, his, ooh, his, his assault skill looks very long, okay. Magic attack, I'm strong, a single enemy deals 15% additional damage on enemies inflicted with physical resistance or magic resistance debuff. This is pretty good. And damage increases by 20% when recollection field is 3 or more. Okay, so he, he gets pretty strong the more recollection field you have. He's good. He's good. Uh, reduces magic resistance ooh, of all enemies by 15% for 2 turns. Raises physical resistance by 15% for 2 turns. And gives a recollection field. Okay. I don't know what to think about this. The, the, the ranking and boss might be hitting very hard, by the way. Uh, because... Uh, he, he's raising physical resistance, so th this boss needs to hit hard uh, for them to make a new unit that needs to uh, give physical resistance to the team. Pretty interesting buff. I don't know if I like it or not, um, because normally attack buffers like crit or uh, attack or magic attack buffers are the ones we prefer. Because attack is really what you want uh, for your um, for your scores to be higher. So I don't know if he's really gonna be meta for a long time. But if this charge skill is uh, gonna charge from 0 to 100 with a charge, yeah, with 3 or more uh, collection fields. This is gonna be pretty nice. This is gonna be nice for uh, the dark team. This will be a pretty strong assault skill. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we'll see. He's looking pretty nice. So he gives three recollection fields on his uh, incarnate, of course. And um, okay, so yeah, the special recollection fields he gives uh, um, boost magic attack by 10%. Okay. He's pretty, he's pretty good, not gonna lie, but I think you could skip him if you, you know, summoned for the uh, Dark Hunt Edis and Alice during the anniversary. Um, I think he's pretty skippable, because he's not a limited, it's not like you will uh, be missing out on much. But that's just how I'm seeing things. He might be very strong, but in my eyes, he's not all that exciting. His Imaginariums are not the best. I don't, I don't really prefer these kinds of Imaginariums, but it is what it is. His special partner is Alice, so of course, if you have the uh, Anniversary Alice, uh, she's gonna work pretty well with this UGO. But I don't think you're gonna prefer using these two together over... Alice and Edis. Anyways, uh, his leader skill is pretty good, gives 25% incarnate in the beginning, 
And then of course he has all the new mechanics which uh, put him high up. Like, I mean, all these new characters that have uh, the new mechanics in my eyes are already like uh, at least a level over uh, like these older units. Even though this, uh, oh no, not this UK. Oh, what are these old characters though? Okay, I mean, um, damn. There's like three characters or four characters on this banner that are good. I don't really. I I I I read. I'd rather advise you to skip. Honestly, I mean the Yu-Gi-Oh is uh, looking good, and of course they are gonna make him useful for the new ranking. The see, this is very good because she already has her EX awakening. Then this Asuna is useless at this point. Same thing with this Yuki, by the way. Uh, Subtilizer is getting, you know, kind of outdated too, but he's still pretty usable. And uh, I believe he'll be nice because he uses magic attacks. Uh, so he might be pretty nice, pretty uh, a good option for this ranking event. This Leafa is a must-have because she's a charge yeller. Uh, so if you want to go in for the banner, if you're a very, very new player, I mean, I don't know if I would advise you to go in for the leaf uh, because I mean, still you, it's not like you're guaranteed to get her or anything, so. Uh, this Sinon is, she uses magic attacks, but she got pretty shafted, not gonna lie. These rotation units that deplete 70% of their HP to deal a little more amount of damage are just outdated. I don't even know what they wanted with them and... Uh, this this skill is pretty good. This is what I if you have this scene on and if you're using this scene on, this is the skill I would just go with all the time over this assault skill because this uh, at least you know gives some buffs. But this one is not the best either at this point, and this also is pretty good. Uh, she will, she might be a very good option. She's relatively recent, she can go in health mode and recover HP while attacking, so uh, that's good for her. And she can lower magic resistance, so that could help out the new Yu-Gi-Oh! So, yeah, I mean, there are some nice units, but uh, some of these are pretty bad, uh, I would say. Um, regular banner, of course, with regular rates. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, you can just say for the next, uh, for the next limited unit, is what I would say. Uh, it's not like you're gonna miss out on very much. Like, I, I, I would have rather summoned for the Earth Element Admin uh, over this Yu-Gi-Oh, I would say. But, yeah, I mean, if you like Yu-Gi-Oh, we already got a new one, so, I mean, we, we didn't get a new Yu-Gi-Oh for a year. Uh, and now we are getting a uh, two, uh, a bit like two months of time apart, so th that's pretty nice. So there's a new stage ranking event, which everyone is happy about because the uh, ranking rewards are just way better than the normal ranking event rewards. So of course the rewards are very nice. We got lots of limit breaking crystals for the free to play Lizbeth. And actually, if you if you already upgraded her, she will be a nice uh, unit for this ranking event. She could be an interesting unit to play around with, um, with uh, you know because she can dodge. So she could be a good option. Um, we do get a lot of like uh, late breaking crystals for her and tickets for her uh, if you haven't gotten her or if you need dupes still. Uh, then we get a uh, free home illustration, which we can see there. It's Arsenal like playing uh, um, in bed and the free Imaginarium for the new UGO, and that is kind of it. So for me, this UGO is a big skip because uh, the, the limited characters are what you want to focus on. So good luck if you're summoning. Uh, we'll see if I'll make a ranking out video this time around or not. I mean, in the non element ranking event, when I saw that new strategy that everyone came up with, with the uh, continuous damage units, I was just like... I mean, is there is there even a reason for me to make uh, a ranking out video when uh, people are getting 10 million scores with, like, uh, uh, the broken units? Like, uh, I mean, there was no point. So, yeah, I mean, we'll see how broken this ranking event will be. Uh, anyways, good luck to all of you. Bye-bye.